Hello and welcome to the launch day for a game called LX. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, I completely forgot this game was even coming out until about 30, 30 minutes before it came out. And I bought it because it's made by the people who made uh, the Gothic series and the Risen series. Now, you're probably get, going to get a load of like groans and moans there from a lot of people because you're like, the Risen series is shit and the Gothic series went to shit. I don't know about the Gothic series because I've never played it, but personally, I really, really, really like Risen because it's kind of a old school style RPG, but released today. Like, it doesn't hold your hand at all. You've got to figure out where you're going. The game basically... It's it's very very minimal hand holding in it. Personally, I think that also they look really nice. Um, yeah, they are kind of they're kind of diamonds in the rough. Risen Two was genuinely genuinely bad. I think we can all say. Whereas um, Risen One and Risen Three were for me they were kind of diamonds in the in the rough. Um, so will this be a diamond in the rough or will it just be? A shit nugget in the toilet. I don't know. It is the launch day, October 17th. I basically know nothing about this game. Other than it looks like you can use sci-fi guns and also have swords in it. If we check the store page now, we're going to have a look to people's reaction to it. It's got 69% so far, which is about right for Piranha Bytes game. Uh, as you can see from the screenshots, look at that. That looks kind of Mad Maxi in a way. Um, but that looks kind of sci-fi and all that. That's sci-fi. Um, that's sci-fi. Then you got mutants. Sci-fi guns. That kind of looks like, you know, castle. So medieval maybe. That looks medieval because you've got swords. So it's kind of like medieval and... It's a, a brand new post-apocalyptic science fantasy universe that puts players in a, into a huge, seamless game world full of original characters, mutated creatures, deep moral choices, and powerful action. Right then, I guess we'll have a look at it. One thing I'll say about Piranha Bytes games, they should never really release them at £40, because they're not, they're not... They don't feel like they have the AAA polish of... Well, saying that, most AAA games don't really have the polish that they should have. But you know you know what I'm trying to say. They maybe should be released for £25, maybe £30. They should be released, I think, at a lower end. And I think a lot of people would excuse a lot of the things more. A lot of the, maybe the rough, rougher edges more. Right, let's go into it. Let's see what it's like. I've got no idea. THQ Nordic. What? THQ? I thought they went bankrupt. <laughs> like, in 2012. Oh god. That Prana Bikes intro. Press any key. I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard to start with, and we'll see how it plays. Uh, I may move over to a controller. We'll have a look. Right, let's have a look at the options first. Uh, graphics. Um, we'll, we'll leave it at what it's put it at because I feel like that's always a good idea. Maybe we can then experiment once we get into it. Backspace. Video. Uh, 144 hertz. V-Sync is off. That's good. Uh, audio. The music is quite loud. Hopefully it's not that loud in the game, but probably will be. Right then, new game. Uh, normal. Magalan. Oh, subtitles aren't on though. Shit. Civilization of millions. Until the comet hit. Earthquakes shattered its cities. Firestorms swept the planet. And as Magalan fell into darkness, Magalan survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world. See, they're using concept New art here rose. for the intro, which the suggests not a very high budget the for the clerics. game. The outlaws. The outlaws. Each with their own vision of the future. Mad Max people. 
But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them, for the comet had bought something new. Elix. Elix. An That's what it's called. To Magellan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life, open new abilities to those with the Make me grin control. like the Joker. <laughs> for the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Alps. I beg your pardon? Seemingly the Alps? The Alps have waged Alps. war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaykor and their fortress ice palace, the Alps threatened the future of all the factions on Magellan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb selected to change the fate of Magellan. Is that me? Magellan. Magellan. Magellan? What a name for a place. Magellan. Oh wow, look at those textures. Holy shit. Those are some bad textures. Wow. Look at those textures. Fuck me. Oh, that's some popping and a half. Oh no! I hit a bird! And then I got blown up! I'm alright! I'm getting kind of like... Defiance vibes from this, you know? It kind of looks like Defiance. Wow. Considering how bad it looks, the frame rate is pretty poor. <laughs> the explosions! There's screen tearing all about the place. I'm getting like Mass Effect Andromeda fucking vibes from the armor. Take off my helmet. Oh my god! <laughs> he's, he's a vampire. He's really pale. I don't need that. Why would I need that? In case anyone starts shooting at me. <laughs> Look at the armor. Your mission. Oh dear. You know our directive. There can be only one consequence for failure. Where are the subtitles? Oh dear! Oh, you get killed at the beginning of the game. Lovely. But it's okay, you get rescued by the people of the land. It's very generic. Where's all my armor gone? You just nick it all. Wow. Thanks, I was like some badass guy from like Mass Effect and now I'm just some fucking person in some shitty clothes. Wow. How'd I get so dirty? So there's no character customization or anything. And this is where you start. Whoa, and we're in. Right. Take small healing plant. Wow. Yep, you can tell this is a fucking Piranha Bytes game. It's very, very budget. Better move. Oh my god, his voice! His voice! Yeah, I better find a weapon. I better find a weapon. One. I've got a weapon. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh my god, this, this is very jank. Right, let's have a look at the... Let's see if we can turn subtitles on. Um... 
Why? Why is everything on apart from subtitles? That's so silly. I hate that. Did that actually do it? Yeah. Uh, it looks terrible. What about screen tearing? Put V-Sync on. What about putting the graphics up? Because it looks awful. Post AA. Ultra. 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 That didn't affect the frame rate that much, considering. I mean, yes, it is 50 now, but it's... I thought it would affect it a lot worse than that. How's it look? It doesn't look that much better. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look that much better. What about the small healing plant? Did I take it? I think I took it. Oh, now the frame rate's gone to shit. Oh, God. Okay, double tap directional keys to do a roll. Can I sprint? Yep, sprint with shift. Oh, my God, this is so janky. This is even more jankier than Risen. Come on. Oh, no. This could be... I mean, this could be a diamond in the rough, but... I don't know. Take all the arrows. It's looking a bit jank at the moment. Oh. Is that a healing plant? There you go. Can I save with F5? Yeah, I think I can. Right, I guess we're going down here. Climb over the thing. Yep, there you go. It's crazy I've that been here for days. The Elix is gone from my system. I feel weak. Think. Think, Jax. My weapons. My armor. Did Calix take them? No. No. If Calix had seen I was still alive, he would have finished the job. It was someone else. This is a dead enemy territory. If Calix returns, or if the Berserkers find me, I'll be dead for sure. Right. It's crazy that Piranha Bikes even have enough money to keep making games. Because they surely don't sell very well. I mean, they get panned pretty badly, you know, by most people. How are they even still making stuff? Oh, God. Right, here we go. Combat. Uh, combine quick attacks and heavy attacks, E, to combos. The longer the combo, the more damage you'll deal. Always keep an eye on your stamina. Healing potions. Right. This is really rough. Risen... I haven't played Risen 3 since it came out. But I remember Risen 3, it looked nice. You know, graphically, it looked nice. The combat felt good, you know. It was simple, but it felt good. You know, the magic felt awesome. And, um... I mean, this just it feels a bit like they maybe took an... I mean, this feels like it's going back to Risen 2, almost. Raw meat received. Can I go in here? I can. It's not, it's not fucking Crisis, is it? There's a bow. Iron ore, arrows. Tape. Mug. Casket. Space bar. No. Small yellow gemstone. I'm only going to play about an hour or two of this because it's 40 quid and I'm not sure if I actually know if I even want to play it or not, you know. So I may, un may end up refunding it. I don't know. I always have... I kind of like bad games for some reason. I kind of... I see the charm in them. I see what they were going for and I, I look past the problems and I see the charm in them, you know, with games like these. So maybe, technology from the old world. maybe I won't refund it. How do I equip the bow? Uh, assign quick slot. Uh, free. There we go. Free. Right. Aim. 
Oh god. <laughs> it looks like a really bad early access game. Oh no. Look at the why does the U why is the UI so terrible for like the enemies? Oh no. This is not the best. <laughs> this could be better. This could be better. Sorry, rat. Sorry. Bone received. Oh no. The lighting looks quite nice. I can sit in the office chair. Hmm. Why did I buy this game? <laughs> I can sit and ponder. Why did I buy this game? Should I have bought it? Should I refund it? <laughs> hmm. Let me out of the chair. I'll take the healing potion if you don't mind. Whoa! Okay, I'm accidentally double tapping. That's annoying. Can I change the controls for dodging? Let's have a look. Uh, hold the sprint, no. Hold the sneak, no. Key bindings. Jetpack. See, look at that, jetpack. I bet you, that's the problem. These games, they always seem really bad at the start, but I bet you once, uh, like 20 hours in, it's going to be like, fucking, you got a jetpack, and you got a fucking amazing gun, and you can fucking fly across the fucking world. But now you're just killing rats. <laughs> you're doing what you would norm what you would think you would do in a pretty crappy RPG. You're killing rats. Uh, what about uh, evade? Is that doesn't have a key. What about alt? Uh, alt. Alt. There you go. So it's either double tap a directional key, or press ALT, which we've now assigned. Okay. Okay. Well, it's pretty... The movement's pretty janky. It takes like a while for... You, you press the button, and then it takes a long time for him to start actually moving. <laughs> it feels pretty good to... Hit stuff, you know. You gotta put your weapon away to loot stuff, okay. <laughs> okay, oh dear. What's that? Elixit. Small mana potion. How do I take all oh, X? There you go. I've got an oil lamp, okay. Would that be helpful for the dark? What's, what's going on? Oh, oh my god, we can barely see because <laughs> the draw distance is so bad. I can't even see what we're looking at. Well, there's nothing to see because the draw distance is so bad. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Prana bites, I love you, but what is this? What was Calyx doing here so far from Zaycor? If I want answers, I need to find him. Oh, that's cool. And for that, I'll need weapons and equipment. Look at the way he puts his hand out as you walk over. Okay, don't do it then. Prove me a liar. Do it. Look, he puts his hand out as you're walking across. That's kind of neat. Little attention to details like that is quite, quite nice. Anything here? A torch. A magnesium torch. Sit in the camping chair. Push. Push the button. Go down the elevator. Push the button. Push the button. Evacuation sequence initiated. Remain calm and proceed to the indicated exits immediately. Okay. Follow all instructions from service personnel. Thank you for your visit to the observing. Okay. Oh, no, no. Where's my stop? My stop is here. My jetpack. Finally someone. The guy that took my armor must have dropped it. Now, 
All I need to do is find a way out, cross kilometers of enemy territory, and find out why my brother tried to kill me. What could go wrong? The voice acting isn't the best, and also that's a really small jetpack. <laughs> Space bar twice. Oh yeah, up, up and away! <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Oh, I keep... Oh, if you can't turn off that double tap to roll thing, that's going to be get really annoying. Because I'm always pressing it by accident. Toilet paper? Why would I want toilet paper? Metal scrap. A locker. Toilet paper and cigarettes. Okay. Toilet paper, yes. I'm going to sell everything. Oh, a chest. Worker pants, okay. Uh, oh shit. Uh, nice. Got it. It does. Oh, was that some pop in there? Oh my god, look at the pop in. Look how close the pop in is. That's like 20 feet, maybe? Look at that. That's pretty bad. I ain't gonna kill no more rats, and I don't mean to keep- No, stop! I'm not even double tapping it at the moment, it's just rolling. It's just rolling. Maybe the game is better to be played with a controller. But it's an old school RPG. You should be able to play it easily with a mouse and keyboard. Dried meat. I will take all. Metal scrap. Hammer. <laughs> oh. The land of the berserkers. <laughs> I keep I keep rolling by accident. They could finish the movement is so bad. It's really bad. Hello? Don't try and sneak up on him and kill him, you pillock. He's got he's got a proper axe. Oh brilliant. <laughs> you get knocked out, and then you get knocked out again. And then he waits for you to come back around. Come on, get up. If you're going to make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. I heard you before you even left the ruins. Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me, then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer? If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me. You need to apologize. <laughs> I don't apologize for nothing, asshole. Prove you're not the thief, and I might trust you. Prove you're not the thief, and I might trust you. So my character is just an asshole. Nice Brilliant. Not words. <laughs> Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed Oh, he likes it, does he? Which means you just got very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment. What's with the music? Why is the music going mental? We're just having a conversation in the fucking woods. What's with the music? You'll be safe there. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive. And people need a safe place to go. Well, a safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an alb raiding party. Between them and the rot boars, you won't live long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. Uh, I don't see any albs. I don't see anyone. Huh. You're scared of the albs? You can save yourself the effort. There's no one up there. You can save yourself the effort. There's no one up there. Well, then you got really lucky. An alb raider crashed a few days ago, and their scouts came through looking for it. Trust me, you don't want to run into a party of albs. But, hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're going to do. I'm going back to Goliath, and you can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and... You can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting, and 
hoping to stay alive. I knew it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out. I know joining a faction doesn't appeal to everyone, but it gave me purpose. And what have you got to lose right now? Nothing from what I can see. Look at the clipping and look at the uh, look at the look at the texture detail on the armor. It looks so terrible. I don't I don't remember. I mean, it has been 3 years since Risen 3 came out, but I remember Risen 3 looking really nice. It looked really nice. You know, and I only had a 760 at that point. I've got 970 now, and it's running. It's running. It's well, it's running all right, I guess. Uh, I will come with you, but that doesn't mean I trust you. What you say is logical. I say that. What you say is logical. Logical, right? Does that mean you're coming? Every choice you make adds up in this world. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. I am the tutorial man. No armor, no weapons, no companions. You've not exactly succeeded in life, have you? Well, all that changes today. Whatever you've done before, your life can start again. A new beginning. When the next Alb raiding party comes down from the north looking for Elix, the people of Goliath will defend you. You won't see the inside of a converter with us to protect you. Instead, you'll get a chance to prove yourself. To join us. Why do you want to help me? Like I said, Goliath needs people. Warriors, cultivators, hunters, storekeepers. Whatever your skills, we can find a place for you. You'll train me and give me equipment? And you just take people in? You'll train me and give me equipment. You'll train me and give me equipment? If you stay, you'll have to earn your place. But, be you cleric, outlaw, or owl, that's true everywhere. Sure, you'll get given orders and you'll have to follow the law, but it's not like you have things easy out here. Look, we can keep talking, but at some point, you gotta decide. So, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna stay here, or come with me? Uh, your actions and words seem to match. I will trust you for now. Your actions and words seem to match. I will trust you. Yes, well, I'll take that as a compliment. You won't regret it. Combat, magic. If those interest you, then the Berserkers offer training to people who join their ranks. We'll make a warrior of you. We should get going. This is Rotboard territory. You won't last long if a pack of them turn up here. Follow me to Goliath, and you can earn the elected to buy armor and supplies. Trust me, you'll need them. I want to find the thief who took my armor. Anything stolen near here recently, I would start with Ray. He's an outlaw I found out here a few days ago. Very jumpy. Definitely looking for something. Where do I find him? Huh. I don't know. He disappeared off to the northeast. I'm guessing he went back to Tavar. But, hey, I wouldn't rush after him. He's probably sold your armor by now. I will come with you to Goliath. I will come with you to Goliath. Lead the way. Then follow me. And if we lose each other for any reason, you'll find Goliath to the east, at the foot of the mountain. Okay. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. You can see that from a good distance away. Oh, and the name's Durus. Pleased to meet you. Durus. Lead the way. Very well. And keep up. Keep your eyes open. Oh, God. What's with the music? Why is the music going mental? It looks terrible and it's running like shit. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Watch your what? I can't hear you. The music's too loud. <laughs> if it's so dangerous, why do you come out here? Let's keep going. Nah, uh, do this. If it's so dangerous, why do you come out here? Magalan almost died when the comet hit. A living, breathing planet turned to ash and dust. But the Berserkers are using their magic to bring our world back to life. Just look around you. Edan is the greenest place on Magalan. They need more people. 
and they offer anyone who comes the same chance to start over. We should move on. One downside of all this plant life is that you can't see the rot boards coming. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, and follow me. So it's definitely your traditional um, piranha bites formula, you know. You um, there's three factions, and eventually you'll you'll decide which one you want to be with, and you know you'll you you'll get the abilities of that specific faction, you know. In Risen 3, I played as a mage. I joined the mages. What are the ruins over there? Just keep stopping over and over again. A reminder that the past can be left behind. Can we find anything useful there? Can we find anything useful there? What's wrong with his fucking eyebrow? A group of it looks like they shit on it. Ago, a scouting party reconnoitering Goliath. Well, that was their plan. Instead, they ran into a group of rot boars. Got chased into those ruins and haven't come out. The only good enemy is a dead enemy. Those rot, bo rot boars sa saved you a job. Eaten by rot boars? They're, that is no death row warrior. Maybe they're alive? Haven't you checked? Maybe they're alive. Haven't you checked? Checked on the enemy? Yes, well, maybe you're right. We're all allies in the fight against the Alps. But those ruins are dangerous. The rot boars might still be there. Why haven't you joined a faction? Maybe I should join the Alps. Uh, stop questioning me about my business or I'll get angry. I have no interest in factions. Why did you choose to join the Berserkers and not the Clerics? Why did you choose to join the Berserkers and not the Clerics? The Clerics follow the god Kalan, who tells them technology will save us all. I don't believe in gods and I don't think boxes of cables hold all the answers. I don't believe in gods either. Uh, maybe I should join the Albs. I have, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should join the, uh, Albs. Maybe I should join the Albs. You don't join the Albs. You're born one, or they choose you. That means most people are taken, rejected, and killed horrifically. The survivors are turned into mindless addicts. They might once have been free people like you and me, but Elix has turned them all into emotionless killing machines. Go to Zaykor if you want, but all that will await you is misery and death. I have no interest in factions. I have no interest in factions. I cannot decide whether to join a faction out here. Let's go on. Well, we have a choice to make. You're short of equipment. We could see if the clerics have left any in the ruins. You want us to go into the ruins? You want us to go into the ruins? That's up to you. That's what I said. But there's a risk to that. So maybe we should just head straight for Goliath. I better warn you that the creatures in there won't take prisoners. I'll be fine. It would definitely be safer to bypass them. No, I want to go in there. Challenge. What do you think? Challenge. Shall we risk entering? Challenge. The Challenge. Let's go into the choice opportunities are there to be seized right you took the hard path you just leveled up open your adju adjutor with v to distribute uh, to distribute attribute points find a teacher and spend learning points to learn new skills right v oh it doesn't pause the game shit uh strength i got 10 points holy shit uh toughness describes physical conditioning it permanently increases life energy and unlocks items and abilities. What's with the music? The music is really annoying. Cunning influences social skills and unlocks certain abilities. Intelligence. Dexterity. Ranged. Cunning. Uh, apply these changes, yes. Right. Save the game. Let's make a proper save. Save. Uh, save game. Yes, one. Yes. Saving. There you go. Right. Let's go. I've got a bow. Where are we going? Can I have a look at the map? How big is the map? Is this is this all the map? I'm guessing it is. 
Pretty big map. Pretty big map. Holy shit, look at that. It looks cool. See, there's, see, there's cool stuff in these games, but they're... They're just... They're so... Like, amateur in a way. If they weren't, they just need more polish. And they need just... I don't know, you know. Oh my god, look at this over here, look. So it looks like there's really cool stuff here. There's like really cool stuff. It's just that it's behind so much shit. Are you ready to go on? Yes, I am. I'm ready to turn the fucking music off. It's pissing me off. It's really loud and annoying. It'll be fine. Look out. I'm out of ammo, shit. Let's go. What the fuck is this? You've activated a teleporter. You can now return anytime to this place through the map on your adutor. Adutor. I don't know how to pronounce that properly. What Metal scrap. Mean? Looks like someone used this as a camp before now. Hmm. Maybe I could use it. Oh, this place fried meat. Handy. Torches. What's in there? Is that elixir? Elixir. Elixir. I don't know what that does. Could have a look. But the game doesn't. The game doesn't. Oh, I, I'm really not a fan of it when the game doesn't pause when you actually go into a menu. I hate that. Um, where's elixir? Do you see a lick seat? I'm probably I'm probably going past it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm my possibly am blind, but I don't see it. Learning points. I've got one learning point, but I need to find a teacher for that, okay. Very old school RPG in that sense. Can I climb the ladder? I can climb the ladder. The animation is not very good. <laughs> oh my god. I look like I've done a shit in my pants. And I'm very awkwardly climbing. It's no fucking Mad Max, is it? Jesus Christ. Cigarettes. Pack of cigarettes. Shotgun shells. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's cool to have, like, swords, like, medieval looking swords and armor with still with, like, shotguns and, you know, sci fi guns. I think that's cool. I like that stuff. Oh, loads of arrows. Good. i got to take one at a time, though. <laughs> See, it's so basic. It hasn't... They haven't... Prana Bites haven't moved forward with everyone. They've just stayed the same, and they haven't improved on any of the mechanics. All the mechanics are the exact same mechanics as they were in, like, Gothic 1. Oh, God. I don't want to fall off. Is that a gun? <gasps> it's a gun! I missed. Didn't miss that one. And all oh, that one. All oh, that one. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. How do I climb down? I, I gotta put away my weapon. Okay. There's no. Doesn't seem to be. Doesn't seem to be a way of like sliding down. Slowly down the ladder we go. Are you alright? Cleric dead. I got cleric weapon. Assign it. Oh, I don't have dexterity or strength for it. What do I need? I need 50 dexterity. And 35 strength. Wow, okay. That's definitely a way away then. <laughs> I'm not meaning to roll, I swear. It's doing it by itself. I need a light. But ma magnesium torch. 
Uh, torches. Where are the torches? Um, put it on four. What happens if I use it? Oh, there you go. Can I throw it? No, I just use it for a little bit. Oh my god. Why is there a, why is there a bit of light in the corner? That doesn't make any sense. Backpack. Oh, I've dropped it now. Shit. Toilet paper and a Lexit. A Lexit. Oh, no. Another, there's a large healing potion. Small healing potion. Well, it seems... I mean, if you played Risen 1, you know you just you can just get fucking killed. <laughs> I mean, instantly. I mean, at the very beginning of the game, it will fuck you up. But, um... I, did Risen 2 do that? I can't remember. It's been, it's, been, it's been five years since I played Risen 2, so I'm not sure how difficult... I know it was quite... It, it wasn't hand-holdy, but I'm not sure if it was difficult if you got killed quick or not. Risen 3 definitely wasn't uh, difficult either, I don't think. Uh, but Risen 1 was fucking hard as nails. It was like, fuck, you'd get fucked up. Uh, this doesn't seem to be like it's going to be like that. It's pretty easy to kill people. Haven't taken any damage yet. We going up here? I guess we are. Are you ready to go on? Is that a chest? It is a chest. It's a fancy chest. Energy drink. Mmm. What is it? Is it Dr. Pepper? Let's go. Do you still have Dr. Pepper? These ruins look like they were some sort of machine shop in the old world. You know about the old world. Only what I've learned on my travels. Ruins and wreckage. The old world is irrelevant. Irrelevant? It's where we all came from. The Berserkers want to grow the world back to what it was. The other factions pick through its bones, hoping to find the technology it left us. Oh, now it's a quick conversation, wasn't it? I expected more from you. Bundle of old world money. Oh my god, dollars. Turn off the radio. Cleric prayer book recipe. Carton of cigarettes. Kind of fallout -y vibes there. Uh, did I, did I, I got a rusty axe, didn't I? Is that better? Is it better? Yeah. Not by much, though. There we go. I got rusty axe now. Yeah! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not meaning to do that. I promise. I'm not meaning to roll. It's just doing it by itself. Oh, there's a dead cleric. Right, one more. Cleric weapon. Is that it? I think that's it. Do I go back and talk to Juris now? Here, I found these. Here, I found these. Elix technology. It's forbidden to berserkers. Why? Officially, you're supposed to hand it in when you arrive in Goliath, but that'll be your choice. Just don't go flashing those weapons around when we get back, okay? Some berserkers are really strict about the laws. Others are more lenient. Like you? You see, we leave the albs and clerics to rely on machines. In Edan, we use magic. Magic? Do you often find clerics in Edan? All the factions come here. For intel, for resources, we all take from each other. At least it's just rage from the clerics for now. There have been wars in the past, and it does seem like there are some clerics who want to repeat those mistakes and take us back into open warfare. Let's go on to Goliath. Let's go on to Goliath. Right. Follow me. You say there were elves in this area. How long ago was that? The raider crashed a week ago. It's been quiet since then. Well, apart from the scouting party on the edge of the forest, it feels like something serious is brewing up there in Zaycor. And that's bad news for us all. Are you ready to go on? Yes, I am. I was just picking up something. Uh-oh. I'll help you. Uh -oh. 
Every attack adds to your combo bar. With enough combo power, you can perform a special attack queue. The better you, you time your attacks, the more combo power you get. Okay. So old school. So old school. And it's starting to become old school in a bad way. They really need to up their game and make their games a bit more modern. What are you doing? You're not very good at this, are you? Leave it to me. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll be fine. Are you ready to go on? I I don't mean I don't mean to keep rolling. I really don't. There's no way there's nothing I can do about it. I can't turn it off. Uh-oh. I'll get this one. No, I'll get him. Okay, you get him then. Is this the place? No, this can't be it, surely, no. How far away is this place? Oh. <laughs> I don't mean to keep doing that, I swear. Uh oh. Oh, don't. Oh, don't help me at all then. He just, he, he's just not interested in in the enemies at all. Are you ready to go on? Oh, is this it? This looks nice. This is cool. You should be able to make your way on alone from here. Okay. You can find supplies and get yourself back on your feet in Goliath. And then, the choice will be yours. So I can just leave whatever I want. You should try to get a better weapon and some armor before heading into the wastelands, but it's up to you. Have a look around our community. See what we can offer you. What happens if you find an alb here? They try and kill us, so we kill them. Except the Separatists, a group of alps that has broken away from Zaycor. Maybe they could be allies. You should not trust traitors. You think the separatists, separatists will help you fight the Albs? You think the separatists will help you fight the Albs? Maybe these separatists want to join the free people. Maybe they're just another threat. But I'm sure that together we can defeat the Albs. But for now, the separatists are outnumbered, without friends and defiant. They're already finding life is hard out here if you haven't joined one of the factions. That makes them jumpy, so I'd be careful around them. They're suspicious of everyone. Well, we have reached Goliath, but this is only the start of your journey. Look for me once you've settled in. You'll find me up at Warlord Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. Uh, press L to mark your next mission goal in your Urgutur. Urgutur. Oh god. Uh, main missions, companions, a berserker warrior. The Berserker Jura seems not to recognize me and wants to help people. I need assistance and he could be support. Main mission, survive. Contacts. Campaign of vengeance. Refuge of the Separatists. Stolen equipment, right. Huh. Mark on the map. Mark on the map. Magalan is a dangerous place to be alone. Elix corrupted creatures, uh, reavers, factions, and that's before the fact my own people want me dead. I have to reach one of the free people settlements so I can get weapons, equipment, and take stock of what I should do next. Okay. Hmm. That oh, was a teleporter. Look. I didn't mean a roll. <laughs> there you go. Let's go in. Let's have a look in the in this place. Shall we? Who the f who the bloody hell are you? In the name of the hooded crows and with the power invested in me by the warlords of Goliath, I hereby challenge you to state who you are 
and what you want. What the fuck happens to your know, face? Joliet is eternally vigilant in its search for Alps. Uh, Dura sent me here. Dura sent me here. Oh, you're one of Dura's hand me ons, are you? Hamions? That, that's not what it said in the subtitle. The other warlords when you get in then. They'll check you're not an Alb spy. All right, all right. You can go in. But all weapons must remain sheathed. Start anything, and a paladin will turn you to ash faster than you can say, I wish that Duras guy hadn't sent me here. Oh, and don't steal anything, or flash technology around. I don't expect any more or less from you. Understood. Good. Then I welcome you in the name of the Berserkers. Uh, so what can I do to earn my stay? So, what can I do to earn my stay? Can you handle a weapon? Yes. Then you'll find work. We're short of people since the attacks began. What it's happened to your face? <laughs> With the Albs looking to tear down this whole world. Uh, you're short of people? You're short of people? Everyone's lost people to the Alps. Workers, cultivators, warriors. They're all looking for more hands. You'll need to earn your place. But there are tasks for all hands. And the shards to pay for them. You use shards as money? You use shards as money? What else are you going to use? Not them. Everyone uses Alexa as money. And don't start on with trying to barter your way with raptor shit. You'll need Alexa. Or decent old world scrap if you want to make a deal. Uh, it sounds like you're expecting trouble. It sounds like you're expecting trouble. Outlaws, clerics, and now the Alps starting wars, and that's before we talk about mutants. Where have you been if you don't think there's trouble in the world? But don't worry, you'll be safe here. No Alps getting past me. Is there somewhere I can stay in Goliath? Maybe, down by the tavern or with the cultivators. Try the lower quarter. There's room there for honest men. Pay your way. Or work for your stay, and you'll be welcome. We are the protectors of Magalan, and we welcome all free people. It's like a really, really, really budget version of Horizon Zero Dawn, and how I just don't see how Piranha Bytes can keep, you know, um, asking people to spend full, full price on their games because they're just not up to the quality of. A full price AAA game. They sh should sell them at max £25. You know, I think what I'm going to say in the end with this game is that maybe pick it up when it goes on sale. And these games, these games go on sale quick, you know, because these games are not, they don't sell particularly well, they don't rate particularly well, but there's still, there's still something here to like. You know, what, so wait till it either drops in price or it goes on sale. I mean, Risen Free at the moment is £11. That's not even on sale and that's £11. So I have no doubt that it will go down in price really quickly and it will be in a sale. And uh, so maybe check it out then. But I think for now, oh, hold off, hold off. Maybe they'll improve the performance. It's just, it's just so rough. It's so rough around the edges. I just can't see how they can expect people to pay full price for it, you know. So, um, that was just a, a little quick first look, first impressions at Elix.